Hello YouTube, today I'll be showing you guys how to scrap a wireless keyboard. This one's pretty interesting, it has by Logitech and it's pretty old because you can see the flying window sign right there. So, got this thing at the thrift shop, we're all cheap. So now I just undid the screws on the back, flip it over, and this front panel comes right off. So now we got this whole um, unit here. There's a little silver mylar you can see. Just pull that right out. We'll scrap this in a minute. So this thing is fairly complex. It has a little, uh, almost like a little mouse girl wheel right there. So that'll be interesting. So now I just removed all the screws as you can tell. So now we're to here. So next, I'm faced with some more screws, so we're going to go ahead and remove all the screws in each of these little holes. For example, there's one there, and one there. So, yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, there we go. So this whole thing should come right off. And there I have it. So now we got two parts. The bottom part with the circuit board. And the top part, which should contain our mylars. So let's flip it over. And we got a couple more stuff. So now we're just gonna remove these screws up here, through right there, and the on the other side. Alright, so I've removed those six screws and removed some panels here. So now we got a piece of steel, pretty thin and flimsy. And we got ourselves our prized possession, the silver mylar here. It's really pretty too. You can see all the little inter, um, I guess you could say interconnected pieces of traces going through each and every mylar. So in this case, there's two mylars. One here, this one just separated. And another piece. And then a insulating sheet of plastic. And there's some junk. This is a piece of plastic. It can be recycled. And there we have it. So we got two pieces of silver that can be processed or sold on eBay in strips. In bulk, actually. So now on to the main piece here. So, looks like we got ourselves our mouse attachment here. Pull that off. Nothing that special, it's just a low grade board from a distance. And a piece of silver mylar again. You can tell that's a little dark gray color. That means this is some silver. So, there we have it. So, got us a couple pieces of mylar already. And here on this board here, we just need to remove this one screw with plastic covering. In this case, it is just a regular Phillips head. So I can go ahead and do that on the camera. And there we have it. So this is just a really just an ordinary low grade board here. A little switch there. You can hear that probably, I hope. But yeah, this is just a real great board. And a piece of plastic. And now let's do this other piece here. So it looks like there's just a piece of mylar there and two screws. And then two more screws there to um, undo that board. Alright, so I undid those screws and there we have it. A ordinary um, little square wheel there it should pop off this cover and it appears to be a ordinary um, piece of plastic nothing special so here is a low grade board so I already have two low grade boards and another piece of plastic and now I'm going to f unscrew the two screws on this piece to get the additional piece of silver mylar. Alright, there we go. And piece of plastic 
a little mylar sheet. You can see, hopefully right there, you can see that white color for the silver and on the other side it's just some carbon covering. So, there's another piece of silver mylar. That with our silver as well. And we got ourselves another piece of plastic. Now on to the final part, which is the main back end here. Right where the battery connectors were for the um, battery, so it didn't require any kind of um, wiring at all for the connector. It was all wireless, so we just snip off the wires collect that and put that in with our number two Wire. and we do the same here there we go and we got ourselves our board here which can just be removed with some screws and there I have it just popped right out and it tells just an ordinary um, low grade board there looks like possibly even a mid grade because we can see there's a few chips on that board some surface mount components but there's a lot of like bulky stuff like capacitors and crystals and pieces of metal so yeah this is classified as a mid grade board in my book it might be just a low grade it would not be a high grade so yeah got a piece of plastic put that with our plastic and that's all I have for you guys. Hope you found that useful and interesting. And I hope you guys have an awesome day. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more content from the E-Scrap Man. And until then, until next time, thanks for watching.